My name is James Blackburn. I live and work in the American Southwest. As a result, I have the good fortune to be able to travel to a variety of beautiful locations. As a professional filmmaker, I document my life through video adventures and I share them with the world. Stay tuned as I travel through the world of movies and the beautiful outdoors. Thanks for watching the James Blackburn Experience. Good howdy folks. Welcome back to another James Blackburn Experience. Today is going to be a fun one for me because I am heading to the Sunport to fly here early morning to go to Southern Indiana, Evansville to be exact, for a surprise visit for my family. Almost none of them know I'm coming. I have one brother who knows I'm gonna be there and then my stepdad, but everybody else is clueless. My aunts, my uncle, my cousin. I mean, there's gonna be so many awesome people that I haven't seen there in a long time. So stay tuned as I fly across the country. Well, it's still early enough in the morning that the sun hasn't come up over the mountains yet, over to the east of us. Can't really see the mountains from here, but trust me, they're there. I'm outside, waiting on my ride, who I'll introduce you to here in just a little bit. You know, I've always wanted to do one of these surprise videos on YouTube that I've seen, these heartwarming uh, homecoming videos, so nobody knows I'm coming except for the two people I mentioned earlier. And so I can't wait to see everybody's looks on their faces when I show up. It's either gonna be very much uh, excitement or a lot of disappointment. <laughs> we'll wait and see. All right, the chariot awaits. Here's my good friend, Royd. He came over real early in the morning to give me a ride. I appreciate it a lot, brother. This is gonna be a fun journey for me. And uh, I, your mom while you still have her. Yep. Right after we left my house, we saw this beautiful sunrise over the Sandia Mountains, and I thought, what a great start to a journey as we headed south on I-25 to Sunport Boulevard. We're heading into the Albuquerque Sunport. All right, there goes my buddy Roy, gave me a lift down here. We got the sun rising over the Sandias. Time to head inside and check in. All right, got a mask up for all this too because it's all part of the experience, so let's go in and get it done. See what happens next. All right, welcome to the Albuquerque International Sunport. One of the cool things about this place is it does reflect the Southwest sort of look here, but there's also some cool historical things in here, like this cool old airplane here. I always thought that was really neat. And if you're ever down here, you should definitely stop Right next to the historical airplane are all these model airplanes and it gives a brief explanation of some of the history of it and there's just a ton of really cool stuff here so stop down and check it out if you guys get a chance okay i'm uh dallas fort worth uh, it looks like gate b3 on time The sun has definitely come up over the mountains over there. Made it through security with no problems at all. Just obey the rules and you always do fine. So now I'm heading down to gate three, uh, B3 that is. Hug the cushion to your chest. If necessary, an infant life vest will be distributed by a flight attendant. The safety card shows how to use it. Right after we took off from the Albuquerque Sunport, we flew over the Sandia Mountains. But that wasn't the most exciting thing happening at the moment. For me, it was meeting a famous actor and getting to sit right next to him on the airplane, Forey J. Smith, who played Lloyd on Yellowstone. I got to sit next to this guy for two hours on the flight and I just thought it was really awesome that the two actors on the airplane got to sit 
right next to one another and have these great conversations about the industry that we work in and some of the jobs that we've done over the last few years. He was a wonderful, warm-hearted person. Uh, it turns out we've worked together on a few movies. We worked together on Lone Ranger and a television series called Manhattan. And just a super friendly guy. I'd like to thank him personally for just uh, being there and chatting with me and just keeping it real and keeping it pleasant. Then the flight came to an end as we landed here at the Dallas-Fort Worth Airport. This was a beautiful place. I was glad I got to stop here on my way through. All right, folks, made it to Dallas, Fort Worth. My gate is back here behind me, so we're just gonna chill out here for a little bit. Airplane boards in about 15 minutes. The flight over was fun, very interesting. Sat next to a famous actor, and we had some great conversations for a couple hours, so yeah. So I was flying American Eagle. I got a pretty good price on the ticket because I bought it several months ago when I was planning the surprise to come back to Indiana and not tell my family that I was coming. So here we are taking off from Dallas, Fort Worth and heading to Evansville, Indiana. Now this flight was a little shorter than my first flight from Albuquerque to Dallas. The flight from Dallas to Evansville was closer to 90 minutes. And I got a window seat again as you can see here and I love being able to see the earth from this point of view. I mean, look at those clouds and then all the different businesses and forested areas down below. I never stop being amazed by being able to fly across the world and see things like this. I mean, I'm only flying partially across the country of America, but still, you get to see a lot of variety along the way. And I was very grateful for that. Just look at the beauty of these clouds. So I would planned on doing this several months before. I wanted to show up the day after my mom's birthday when she was going to be with all her family members and surprise all of them one at a time. Place your seat in the full upright position. We will now collect any items you wish to discard. Please recheck if your seatbelt is fastened and familiarize yourself again with the location of your closest exit. Please turn off and put away larger electronic devices, including laptop computers. Secure smaller handheld devices in your hand or seat pocket. Devices must remain in airplane mode until after we land. We will be landing soon. The variety of landscape as I flew over the country was really beautiful. Look how green and lush this part of the country looks here. This is getting closer and closer to the Midwest. This might even be part of Southern Illinois here. It's just a total change of landscape from New Mexico. I love New Mexico. It's very beautiful. It's just not green and lush like this. On behalf of American Airlines and our One World Partners, we would like to thank you for flying with us today. We hope to see you again soon on a future American Airlines flight. And then here we are in Evansville, Indiana. Going up to gate B3, I think. We might be heading over there, I'm not sure. Nope, we're heading over here, sorry. Going up to gate B1, Evansville, Indiana. The airport it was a fairly easy flight. I maybe even took a little bit of a nap on the way here. All right, folks, made it to Evansville, Indiana. It's a little after two o'clock here, local time. I'm gonna go see if I can find some sort of transport to get out of here and get to the hotel. The Evansville airport was very tiny, but it looked just like every other airport. There was just less of it. I really liked it though. It was clean and tidy, and it was easy to navigate and get out of the building quickly. All right, folks, I'm in Evansville, Indiana, the airport. Going outside, the ride's coming to pick me up here in a little bit. I got a car service that's gonna take me over to the hotel. A little more humid out here than what I'm normal normally used to feeling in New Mexico, but it's really not too bad temperature wise. It does smell different. You can smell all the fresh cut grass, which is something you don't smell in Albuquerque very often. And everything is green, which is a change from Albuquerque as well, where most things are brown. So this is pretty awesome. Look at that landscaping. All right. Made it to the hotel, heading down to my room right now.
Okay, room 224. Got two beds. Probably don't need them, but, but yeah, here you go. Here's the room. Boy, it sure is a lot of mirrors in here, huh? Hey, guys. And of course, there's a bathroom over here somewhere. There you go. Nothing fancy, nothing too crazy, but this will get me through for a few days. All right, folks, I'm in the room. All is good and safe in the world, at least for the time being. I believe my mom's gonna be here in about an hour, so I'll be ready to surprise her with the camera then. All right, folks, we don't have white castles in the Southwest, so I haven't had one of these in years and years and years, so I went over and got a couple sliders. We'll see how they are. They're probably gonna be as good and as bad as I remember them. But uh, hey, it's a little fun treat. So now I'm heading back over to the hotel room, have a little lunch, and wait for my mom to get here. Yes, yes, yes. That's the Econo Lodge where I'm staying at for the next few days. My mom's staying here as well. It's okay, Not nothing too great, nothing too bad. It just is. All right, folks, I'm back in my room. Got a nice shower in. It's hot and humid here, so I was sweating a lot. And Feel much better now and I have to give a quick review to the White Castle. The folks that work there were absolutely wonderful, nice people. Good job, I appreciate y'all giving me some lunch there. But I have to say that White Castle is exactly how I remember it. It's disgusting and yummy at the same time. So it was kind of gross but still enjoyable. So yeah, give it a thumbs up. All right, my mom and stepdad should be here shortly. He's gonna text me when they get here because my mom still doesn't know I'm gonna be here. And then we're gonna go over to their room once they get settled in and voila, it will be time to surprise my mom. This is a surprise for everybody that's here. There's only a couple people that know I'm even gonna show up for my mom's birthday and my mom's not one of them. And right now she's just down the hall in her room with my stepdad who i call pops now he's in on it he's known the entire time that i'm going to do this i had to have at least one insider to help me pull this off properly so now i'm going to go down to her room and surprise her so let's go here we go room 209 never done anything like this before flying across the country and surprising family I'm pretty excited and nervous at the same time Housekeeping? Oh, oh <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I got it on camera too. Awesome, Mom. It's so good to see you. You too. I didn't know if we kept it a secret or not. But there it is, guys. It's my mom. I finally surprised her. I've been waiting for months to do this. And Pops has been on that on the whole time. Oh, you guys. There he is. Alright, bring it in the bring in the hug, man. Awesome. <laughs> We've been planning this thing the whole time, so hey, let me see your room. <laughs> you guys got a nice place. <laughs> well, I didn't think I couldn't think of anything better to give you for your birthday than than That's me. Awesome. So I flew across the country, and I was here about an hour before you guys got here. So, but thank you so much, Pops, for helping me pull this off. I appreciate it. Let's not tell anybody else yet because we're gonna surprise everybody on camera. Daniel and Billy know. All right, folks. There's my mom. I am so happy to be here and and just be here with you guys. And I'm so excited to be back in Indiana. So we're gonna shut this off and get to some family time. All right, folks, we are going to go get some chow. Don't know what we're going to eat yet, but uh, I'll show you some of the food when we get there. So awesome, guys. <laughs> I'm so excited and happy to be I'm here. I'm going to get my navigation going. All right, folks, that was an awesome dinner. 
Thank you, Bandanas Barbecue here in Evansville for feeding us very well. Had a good time and a good dinner with my mom and my stepfather, who I call Pops. Awesome day. And the sunset's been really beautiful tonight, so how can I say anything else but awesome. That was a great day, folks. I had such a great time surprising my mom for her birthday. Technically, her birthday was yesterday, and I surprised her today, but better late than never. We had such a great time hanging out for the last few hours and uh, getting some dinner and just being a family. And tomorrow, a lot more of my family's coming into town, so stay tuned because we're going to have a whole brand new episode tomorrow, and who knows what the day's adventures will bring. We're going to wrap it up here, and as usual, love, love, hate, hate. Take care of each other. Remember folks, life is beautiful if you know where to look. Keep your eyes, your heart, and your mind open. It just might lead you somewhere special. Thank you for watching the James Blackburn Experience. Be sure to check my YouTube channel for almost 900 additional video adventures.